Yeah, awesome to see. Ramadan Mubarak, everyone. My name is Salma. I'm an organizer with the Answer Coalition. I'm so honored to join you on this day, to uplift the Palestinian resistance with you. Today and every day, we celebrate Al-Quds. And we fight for Al-Quds, the true capital of Palestine. It is not an accident that Al-Quds Day takes place during Ramadan. The occupation has consistently used the month of Ramadan to intensify its violence against Palestine. They think that because we are fasting, we are weak. But they don't understand what the month of Ramadan means to us. They don't understand that our discipline to refrain from food and water is connected to our discipline to fight back. Fasting makes us stronger. It is a reminder of what we have the power to achieve. Ramadan is not only a time for us to recommit to our faith and spirituality, but a time for us to commit to our struggle for liberation and fight for a free Palestine. On Al-Quds Day, thousands of Palestinians from all over the world join forces to reclaim their capital and their right to return to their land. And thousands of others join them in solidarity. Looking at this powerful resistance, we cannot help but know in our hearts that the liberation of Palestine is inevitable. It is easy for us to feel hopeless when we look at everything that is going on. Every day the occupation intensifies its violence against Palestinians. Every day the mainstream corporate-owned media publishes false news that villainizes Palestinians who are rightfully fighting for their land. But every day we fight back because we are revolutionary and because we know Israel exists on stolen land. Every day that we organize, we show the entire world that we will not be defeated. In the Answer Coalition, we believe in revolutionary optimism. Not because we are naive, but because we know about our power. We know what the power of the collective, the collective power of the people can do. And we have seen that power manifested in these very streets. We know that the fight will be difficult. We understand how well-funded the war machine is. We know that this country will spare no cost to protect its interests in the Middle East and everywhere else. But we also know that we outnumber them, and we have seen our resistance grow. Every time that they intensify their violence, Palestinians intensify their resistance. So let Ramadan be a time for us to remember our collective power, and to remember the duty we owe one another. As people committed to the liberation of Palestine, we have a duty to expose the lies of the Zionist regime, and the lies of the American government and their mainstream news. They want to call Palestinians fighting for their land, for their right to return home, terrorists, but we know that that's not the case. We know that the real terrorists, like my comrade Brian Becker says, are in the Pentagon, they're in DC. And those, the Palestinians who are fighting for their homeland, well, they are freedom fighters, and we affirm their right to, to fight for their land by any means necessary. The Palestinian resistance is a beacon of struggle for us and for oppressed and working class people everywhere. Our comrades all over the world raise the Palestinian flag because it is a powerful symbol of resistance. So please raise your flags, raise your signs, raise your fists and say, long live the Palestinian resistance. 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 Thank you everyone. Thank you. Oh, Iran, look at his hand. Next up, we would like to invite Sister Norma to come lead. 